So the walk into town from where we're staying is actually pretty easy. The town, there's like a few places to eat, a uh, coffee shop and an ATM and maybe like a couple of stores near us. But if you just make a right coming out of where we're staying and you, um, and you walk probably less than a quarter of a mile, you get to the bridge, which is like that man-made bridge just out of planks that you saw a couple of times already walk across that and then you're like you're basically like right in the smack middle of town it's a little town so there's not much to it um, size wise but there's a there's a lot of restaurants for a place this little yeah it seems like every other store is a restaurant so what we decided to do since we're staying here at 500 pesos a night and for those of you who don't know the conversion rate, right now we're converting at about a little over 17 pesos to a dollar. So the rate is really good. That means um, we're paying roughly $30 a night, which is not an insane amount. But you got to consider this is Mexico. Things are supposed to be much cheaper. So this is sort of a campground that's charging U.S. prices. It's not unreasonable to pay 30 bucks for a place in the U.S. But it is right on the water, and they do have really good facilities. So a place like that in the U.S., yeah, you might be paying in the neighborhood of $60, $75. So considering that, it is still a good deal, and it's probably worth it. So what we've decided to do, if we stay longer, is just to kind of limit our expenses on our meals. If we just eat out once a day, instead of multiple times a day that we've been doing in the past when we're staying at places really cheap or staying at places for free we're eating out like twice a day so it all it all kind of works out to be the same so and it's kind of worth it to stay at a nice place for now so we'll see how it goes we pay through tonight maybe we'll pay for a couple more nights See, just in that span of time, we've arrived at the bridge. Here are these horses tied to the tree. And look at that bird. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna go for a ride. And there's that white donkey. He's a little bit more civilized today. You see, here's a place to get a haircut. Oh, is there? Look. Can I see how much it costs to get a haircut? <laughs> Nobody wants a haircut. My mama wants to cut your haircut so badly. It's not bad, it's pretty crap. It's like rainbow. That's somebody's pet, huh? This is like the town with the most cats in Mexico we've seen yet. We're eating here, yeah? What do you guys think? So we decided to eat at this pollo asado place. Looks pretty good. And I think the longer we linger around looking for a place to eat, all these places are gonna start to close. So yeah, this is our chance. And they have all their chickens on a grill. You can see them and it looks really good. It smells good. Looking forward to it. We got a lot of good recommendations. Uh, there's a couple people that live here that gave us recommendations on Instagram. Thank you for that. We're gonna be here for probably a couple more days. You think we'll just end up paying for a couple more days and stay where we are? I think so. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm hoping for the surf to get better. I've been surfing for the last couple days at lunch. There's waves to be caught. It's not great, but water is super warm and it's been fun, so. I'm looking forward to it getting better. This guy's going to town on our food there. That's a big plate of chicken. What, you got? You didn't get a chicken? No. Oh, all right, I'll bring you some. I'll bring your plate over here. Oh, it's super hot, don't touch it. Just leave it on there for now, please. So I guess this side is like the main beach, huh? This side's a lot more happening than the other side. That's why everybody's surfing here. Yeah. You go 
bunch of stuff. They're making some kind of serious movie over there. It's a bit of a zoo here in the lineup. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. There's all these kids over here boogie boarding. And grown ups too, I think. Look at all these people surfing. I can't count that high. Okay, so it looks as though we're on the good side of the river mouth, which would be the north side. This is the south side, and it's just like a zoo. It's crazy. So crazy crowded. But of course, there's like all kinds of bars and restaurants and shops on the beach, and it just goes all the way around the bay. It's crazy. It's not even the weekend. Hey, who are you? Who are you? You smell the chicken in my to-go bag? I bet you do. Surfboard rentals, massages. This is just nuts. Can't even imagine what this place is like during peak season. I don't know, is this peak season? I guess it's spring, so there's a lot of spring breakers down here still. Didn't I say we're getting ice cream every day? I wasn't lying. What did you get this time? Lemon. Oh, you got lemon. Thank you for listening. I thought my voice was broken. What'd you get, Mila? Cookies. 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 Oh, what did you get this time? Berry. Berry. Did you get that yesterday? Lemon. Oh, another day. Another scoop of ice cream. Ah. Ah. This is a yes, sir. How to play ping pong? Let's hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy. Ah! This ping pong ball is kind of broken. What? Ah. This, 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 I win. like a washing machine. Mommy! Oh, yeah. Spin cycle. Spin as fast as you can. Don't spill it. Oh, your hand is getting stuck. Okay, so some of you wanted to see what our site looks like, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of it. So our site's basically just one parking space that is about just wide enough for our truck. Next to it, a little concrete pad. Um, We've got a set up to be kind of our outdoor living space. My hammock right here. My new hammock strap that our friend Dan and Michelle brought when they came to visit us in Totos. Thank you very much. We got the awning out. Uh, it's not too sunny today. It's a little overcast and hazy. But when it's sunny, it really <coughs> it makes a difference. Arlene hates it when I have the hammock stretched out like this by the way so what's nice about our truck camper is that we have these jack stand plates and we don't have jack stands on but they have these holes that the jack stand bolted the bolt into that are perfect for little carabiners and it's also perfect for one end of a hammock with the other end right here on this tree okay <coughs> we've got two tables this is the one that we started with. It's kind of flimsy, but it's still working. There's some cracks. At some point, it's gonna go out. And then we got the second table that Chris, our friend, left us before he left to go back to the US. So this is my kind of makeshift office and my chair. Back here, we've strung up a clothesline. We're doing some hand washing laundry.
little electronics center right there. Charging some batteries, our little Wi-Fi repeater. Repeating the campground's Wi-Fi. So back here, it's our little own space right up against the back wall. Um, yeah, it's not real big. And it's definitely not one that you can fit like a big RV, Class A, Class C, or travel trailer in. But this campground, <coughs> this campground does have another side. To the other side of that that wall, there's like a walkway or a drive driveway in the middle, like a beach access road. And then the other side of that is where all the bigger rigs are. So we're not in there just because we're not big. And it's perfect for us right now. We've got some privacy. We got some outdoor living space. We have electrical hookups. We got some non-potable water that we can use to rinse stuff off, do laundry, stuff like that. And the kids are in there playing iPad. Wouldn't you know it? That is our campsite at Sayulita. Uh, today will be our third day. We're gonna be here. We pay through tonight. We're probably gonna pay for at least two, maybe three nights. So today is uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know. We may pay for a lot more nights just because Luca's birthday is on Sunday, like I mentioned before. You know, I don't think we want to be driving or trying to find a cool place to be when that happens. So we may stay here just through Sunday. Who knows? It's all up in the air right now. But right now, this is a cool place. We're enjoying ourselves. It's not gotten too hot yet, but in about a month or two, uh, it's coming. The heat wave is coming for sure. <laughs>